we're going into the cave and he just told us to put our heads down and keep our hands inside the boat. This is more intense than I expected. Okay, heads down, heads down. Hey. One of the main tourist draws to coming to the island of this is getting off the island of this and going over to this island here that is in the background. Do you know the name of the island? Bee Shovel. Bee Shovel. And the reason that you go over there is because they've got this little cave that's really famous and it's called the Blue Cave. And I went in blind. I had no idea what this was going to be. So it turned out pretty remarkable. And um, it was a bit tricky to get over there one because when we were first here the weather was too crazy and the waves are slamming up against the rocks mm -hmm. and stuff and like i kind of understood why that would stop you from getting in there i super understand now and then two you got to talk to a bunch of people and they don't tend to know yeah how <laughs> we we talked to several people about how to go about getting over to the blue cave and i'm gonna lay out how we did it so that people in the future who want to go they'll have a better understanding and i don't know um, if this is the cheapest way to do we, it but it's got us there. Yeah, we are staying in Vis and uh, most of the boats go from Comige, which is a different city on the other side of the 20 island. 20 minutes by slow motorbike. 20 minutes by slow motorbike. You can take Five a bus. Five minutes by car. <laughs> you can take a bus. You can also take a car. All of that's going to be on your own monies, however you decide you're going to do it. Um, once you get to Comige, we talked to an agency, um, Blue Cave Tours, which turned out very well, so would highly recommend them. Um, they're going to charge you a hundred kunas a person to take you over to Bishaval and back. Okay, that does not include the cave at all. That is just a transport over to that island and back, and, and a little about, bit of a what, tour 10 on the way or something. Yeah, um, yeah it, it's about 10-15 minutes each way. Then once you're over on Bishaval, you have to pay per person 70 kuna. Uh, that's what we paid. It's off season now. Per and, person. Uh, per person. And I also read that when it is uh, high tourist season, they charge a hundred kuna per person to get onto a boat and then head into the cave. And uh, that is, it ended up costing us 340 total for two people so to that's go 20, from that's 27 usd per person yeah and when we started this i started hearing all these numbers and i was like man this is just too expensive and like i saw the boat they stuck us on and it's like you look like you're getting onto a roller coaster ride like this is all yeah, set up for good. tourists man like mm. i mean that's cool but like you're just starting to think oh am i just going to be like in this situation where i'm just going to be crammed with a million people and it's going to be this awful experience and stuff and maybe in the high season tourist season that would be what happened but for us it didn't turn out that way so we got over to the other side and they've got like corrals and stuff like like at the bank those things you know like at disneyland in a line like that's all established and people are like scanning tickets with like electronic readers and stuff like it really feels like it feels they like are a, ready for a lot of people yeah so yeah. they will be calling your number i mean our number was uh 298 or 289 and two yes in, in, the in the 290s and i think that's starting from this morning 200 but i don't think the people like when you get over there you could go with a couple of different groups yeah so we just chose the one I don't know how we chose. We just walked up to the one and then we bought our ticket and stuff. And they stick you on a much smaller boat than what you go across the, the, the place in. Because this is like a speed boat to get you there pretty quick. But they put you on a pretty small boat. And um, you go around the edge of the island. And then you're going along this rocky, like, the rocky wall and stuff. And as you roll into the cave, it becomes very obvious why he's telling you to get down as low as you can because the hole that they have actually used dynamite to blast in the side of this wall so boats can get through is really low. And it's low to the point that they are timing the entrance of the boat into the cave with the waves going up and down. So he's waiting for the like wave to go down a bit so he can push the engine to give you a little bit of a push through this little hole. And it makes me wonder if they've ever messed that up and people have gotten their heads smacked on this wall because I could see that 
being a really horrible thing to happen to someone. It's happened. And as you go in, it gets dark. He turns the engine off on the boat and he's got this stick that he like walks along the edge and like uses his stick to push off the walls and stuff so that he can navigate the boat back there just by pushing on the walls, literally. And you float back into this little area and it is like borderline the most magical thing I've ever seen in my life. Hey guys, welcome to the Blue Cave. Oh. Wow. oh my goodness. And then all of a sudden it gets really, really bright inside. And what's going on is that the sands underneath the cave, like inside of it, are white. And the cave has got an area where light can get in from the other side. So the sun is shining on the ground and it's bouncing off the white sand and coming up through the blue water and illuminating the cave. Yeah, like once you go into the cave, there's a wall here and the wall doesn't seem to go all the way to the ground. Yeah. And so the sun from the outside hits the sand that's underneath the wall and then illuminates inside the cave. Like a mirror off the, yeah, white, yeah, off, off the yeah. white sand. And, yeah. and you you just you just kind of float around and he tells you a little bit about what's going on the sizes of, of, of the cave the, the depth the all water the and everything yeah the guy's got all the data okay the cave length is 24 meters the height to the ceiling is 16 meters depth is around 15 meters the cave was presented to the public in the year 1884 by the Austrian baron and painter Eugene Rosno local fishermen knew for this place for the centuries and there's a bunch of little fish and stuff that are going through in little I saw schools a jellyfish. and yeah there's a little jellyfish and i don't think i got it on film but it was like incredible to see him because like he lights up too from all the light like he is blue <laughs> And you float around and I don't know, maybe four or five minutes. It really isn't a very long time. I, I read, I read that uh, your ticket is supposed to get you 15 minutes in there. Yeah, and no that, way. That was, mm -mm. Maybe 15 minutes total, like round trip on that little tiny smaller boat or whatever. But yeah. I mean, how much is there so, to see? Yeah, we got about five minutes in there. And it floated and around in a circle and everybody was like, oh my God, and gawking at it and stuff. And then we went to leave. And more boats started coming in. And I was just <laughs> like, I just sat there. There were no words at this point. It was more impressive that all these boats were coming in than that there was this blue light. <laughs> so they, there was at least three boats in there at one time while we were in there. We, I felt, were lucky though because when we were floating around in like the open area where you actually see the blue light and everything, we were the only boat there. Mm. But when we were leaving, two boats came in and I'm sure that they were just like staring at each other as they went in little circles because there's not a lot of room in there. So I think we got pretty lucky about that. And I think yeah. in high season, that could be I think it's just like that the whole time. Like, mm -hmm. I think it's it's, we train. are lucky that we're here early in the year because I think we got it to see it pretty like, you know, nonchalant in a way. Mm -hmm. And then you go back out and you have to duck and then wait for the water again. And then you, you pop back out the side of the cave. And he actually shows you on the wall where the original entrance was. And it just looks like a place that people would crawl into it. Yeah, like maybe even swim underneath of it or something. Mm. Um, it's not a very big hole at all. And I can see why they had to blast with dynamite again. To get a boat to in. Get a, to get a boat in there. And uh, then you just go back to the little port on that island. And then you get on your boat and you come back to the port on this island, which is where we are now on this. And having done the whole thing, like I think it was probably worth the cost. It's pretty yeah. expensive, but I ain't never seen nothing even remotely like that before. I want to say a good chunk of my money was well spent when he said, duck down. Yeah. Put your head in the boat. It became an adventure. Mm -hmm. And that made me really happy. It was like, I had a, like a big smile on my face the whole time that was happening, both times. I've seen stuff like that at Disneyland. Like you go into like, you know, uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, <laughs> what up? It's the best ride at the park. It is not the best and ride at the And like park. you see these things because they've, they've made, they've built this thing and it's like, you know, the, the water illuminates blue and stuff like that. But it's nothing like seeing it like in, in nature. Like, <laughs> Even with like the infrastructure and like on the boat with a bunch of other people and everything, it was still superb. Yeah. Thanks for checking out our first highlights video. This specific video is from our adventure around Croatia. I've linked the playlist for all of our Croatia videos on screen right now. If you're seeing this in the future, like about a week or so after this was uploaded, then I'll put a link down below that will link you straight to the video it's from.